Jasper is about to reopen. Starting Friday, evacuees can go home, but it won't be easy settling in again as there's still lots of work to be done to get the town back in order. Nav Sanga joins us now in Hinton and spent some time in Jasper earlier today. Nav, what can Jasperites expect to find? Jeff, it depends where they live. Many homes and businesses on the north side of town are relatively untouched. The west end of town is drastically different. Buildings, homes, and churches were destroyed. Trees are charred on the ground, and vehicles were burnt to a crisp. But the town says critical services will return to a basic level by the time people enter Jasper Friday morning. Everyone will be able to return Friday between 7 a.m. and 9 p.m. once Highway 16 is open. Electricity and telecommunications infrastructure have also have almost been entirely restored. Fire, EMS, police and 911 dispatch services are also working. There's still work to do when it comes to water, wastewater and health care. The north part of town will be habitable sooner as homes will have access to water and gas. The west side of town, which was impacted by the fire the most, may not have functioning utilities yet. There have been no assessments done yet on private properties, so people need to check with their insurer and do a visual assessment before they go into their homes. It is a new normal that they will have to adapt to. We know as humans that we all find comfort in familiar things. Our residents will be looking for familiar faces in familiar places. Some of that familiarity is gone. People who know their homes have been lost are encouraged to wait to go back into town so there isn't too much traffic. The town is now also saying that visitors will not be allowed to enter Jasper at all Friday morning because there are no accommodations available. When asked why the town did not do a phased re-entry, the town's incident commander says it would have been too difficult and taken too long. The logistics of a re-entry system that would involve checking residents' identities at, at the gate uh, are very complex and would have delayed the re-entry by a significant amount of time. As Mayor Ireland outlined, most of our IDs show a PO box, so that doesn't really help to determine which uh, area of town you live in. But also, we have a large amount of staff that are in Jasper, and their permanent address is not in Jasper. The state of emergency will remain in effect and the town will likely remain on evacuation alert because the fire is still out of control and people may need to evacuate again if conditions change. Now the fire is roughly 33,000 hectares in size, 89% of the wildfire's northwest perimeter, which is the greatest threat to the town of Jasper, is now classified as contained. Jeff? All right, now thank you. That is Nav Sanga live for us tonight in Hinton.